Everyone's well aware that sniping for one-shot headshots is back and in the swing of things for Season 3, but the real question is now, which sniper rifle is king? Today, I have some very interesting news and some very interesting statistics, and I'm going to try to give you the best idea of which sniper rifle you should use for Season 3. But let's get into the nitty gritty of what weapon I thought was going to be best, why I was wrong, and what weapon is the best for season three for sniping. Let's get into it. So here is what I thought was going to be the best weapon in Warzone 2 for season three sniping, and that is the MCPR. Now, mind you, I wasn't far off. I had the right idea but I was not anticipating the amount of, you know, emphasis the devs was gonna take on the uh, battle pass. And if that doesn't give you a good, a good hint at where we're going, well, you'll see here eventually. What I have here is the fastest possible bullet velocity with explosive ammo while maintaining one of the fastest ADS times I can get on the weapon. So we have here the MCPR. So the MCPR is one of my favorite sniper rifles from the base game, and it has been for a long time. It is a super solid, very versatile sniper rifle. And before the one shot headshots with high velocity, these could just completely destroy lobbies if you were accurate and consistent. With that being said, the Nil Sound 90 is the best suppressor for it. As you will see, the FTAC Reaper, Bruin Agent, and all the other ones are going to decrease your, your ADS speed, while none of them actually increase your uh, bullet velocity over the nil sound nil sound your best the uh, 22 inch omx is also your best bullet velocity barrel the 300 explosive is exactly what you need for the one shot headshots the five round mag actually reduces your ads time by 67 milliseconds which is actually faster than the laser so a five round mag is sufficient if you're landing your shots if you aren't landing your shots and you want to stay with the default 10 round mag you can you can throw on the laser or the rear grip both of them almost catch up to the amount of uh ads reduction speed as the five round but the five round is still the fastest with the sights the under seven times sights still offering the most reduction for most of the sniper rifles at 50 to 60 milliseconds as well so the combination of the 67 uh millisecond reduction for the magazine and the 50, yeah, 50 millisecond reduction for the site. It gets us 100 and something seconds off. It's 100 and what, 17? Something like that. 117 seconds off, milliseconds off, reducing the ADS time to almost a stock, which, mind you, that's pretty fast for the max bullet velocity MCPR, sitting at 687, meaning it's only 100, millise 100 meters a second underneath its original bullet velocity as well which isn't bad. Again, we're making up for the time that we're losing on the 300 mag explosive. Now, granted, you're also going to be able to tune this for additional bullet velocity on the nail sound 90 and on the explosive ammunition, which is going to offer probably, if I were guessing, about 100, millise 100 meters a second further. So we're probably looking right at the initial base value of its muzzle velocity. So I was expecting this to be the best all around sniper rifle for season three with explosive ammo and again like i said i'm not far off let's look at the other contender the victus xmr the victus xmr does not have a lot of good options everything you run on it slows it down its bullet velocity still sits barely underneath the mcpr which has a faster rate of fire again a bigger default magazine a much faster ads time and really there's not much you can do for the Victus. The Victus, now mind you, it hits hard at pretty much every range. So it's hard to compete with the Victus on the idea of the overall damage to if you are not landing headshots. But unfortunately for that, the MCPR still guarantees a two shot to the body as long as you're hitting upper uh, and the same for the Victus. So realistically, they're both trading in for the same number of bullets to remove a player without headshots while still giving the MCPR better bullet velocity, 
faster ADS time, faster sprint to fire time, overall faster everything with the exception of tax sprint, which the difference is 0.01. So if you want to throw away all the other positives for the MCPR for a 0.01 tax sprint, go for the Victus. Otherwise, the Victus is realistically the bottom of the barrel here. So if you're using it, begin to change because you are actually probably hurting your chances of landing those one shots. Now, we're going to get into who is actually the best. And I'm sure you can guess by pro uh, process of elimination. That is the FGX Imperium. But we've got four different builds here. And we actually have some very interesting things to see. With that being said, I'm going to show you first off the build that has the fastest muzzle velocity while still having a really fast ADS time. So that is going to be the FGX Imperium with the Fahrenheit 29 inch. With that being said, I really expected this to be the fastest bullet velocity for the Imperium, but I didn't expect it to be the fastest bullet velocity across all of the snipers. So just to begin with, all of the sniper rifles had a base bullet, uh, muzzle velocity of 780, but the FJX Imperium is the only one that almost returns back to its initial velocity with the explosive rounds. You get all the way back up to 711 meters a second, which is again, a hundred meters faster than both, uh, which is a hundred meters faster than almost all the other initial builds for the Imperium. And it's still faster than the MCPR and the Victus. So the fastest bullet velocity sniper in the game right now is the FJX Imperium with the capability of one shot headshots running the Fahrenheit barrel, Fahrenheit 29 inch barrel, nail sound 90, and the 408 explosive. Now, the other thing that I want to do is make sure, you know, if we're trying to go for headshots, most everybody wants the fastest ADS time they can get on top of that. So with that, going through all of the possible configurations, the Schlager night view or any of the, you know, four or 3.4 to six times scopes are going to offer you a additional ADS speed of uh, 60 milliseconds. So the 60 millisecond ADS speed in combination with the scroll, which offers another 44 milliseconds ADS speed, you're getting 104 milliseconds off of your initial time, bringing your ADS with this barrel down to 632 milliseconds. Now, with that being said, uh, you're going to be taken out by a hemlock at about the exact same speed across almost all ranges. So obviously do not start the challenge while you're being shot at. Uh, this is going to be one of those things you're going to want to come over your uh, whatever is blocking your your view or anything like that to try to make the shot because with this you're still not receiving maximum flinch resistance that is something we'll explore in the future but right now we're looking for most lethal possible sniper build now with this build you also share the exact same bullet velocity with the saros 29 with a slower ads time and a slower ads out time so realistically, there is no value for taking the Ceros 29. Do not use it. If you're going to try to go for the longest barrel possible, use the Fahrenheit 29. After that, we're going to look at the TAC-19. Now, this is the barrel I was leaning into because it offers an ADS speed uh, bonus. This one brings your ADS speed all the way down to 601 milliseconds. And then if you uh, throw on one of the short sights again, you can get this down to 541. So Nil Sound 90, TAC 19, 408, the Scroll 40, and the any of these smaller sites, and you get down to 540 milliseconds. With that, you are now the fastest ADSing one-shot sniper rifle, while also only being about 70 meters a second slower than the NCPR. Once you start getting down into the low 600s, that is neg negligible difference. You're looking at almost nothing of a difference on lead for the medium range sniper that you're trying to build for one shot headshots. With that being said, this build is absolutely disgusting and it's almost exactly what I was running in those shorts up front of the video that we ran, the little shots that you saw me. So this build is an absolute monster cannon. If you are looking for the fastest ADS one shot, good bullet velocity that you get, best bullet velocity you can get, sniper rifle, it's this build right here. Nilsound 90, TAC 19, a short optic 
the scroll, and the 408 explosive. You can trade out the optic for other things like a faster bolt chamber or anything like that, which is what I was running before, but obviously it keeps you at 600, which is a slight bit slower, but you get a faster rechamber time. But at 600 milliseconds, you are still faster than the Victus and the, S and the uh, MCPR, both. So this weapon is better on pretty much all standards for what we're running. And then <laughs> once we get past that, we're also looking at a barrelless version, which can bring you again down to 501. It's an extremely fast ADS time with 608, which you'll notice is a very similar ADS time or uh, bolt muzzle velocity to one with a barrel, which was 611. So again, with no barrel and you use the laser, you're even faster ADS time with still a very similar muzzle velocity. Again, the Victus can or the Victus and the MCPR just cannot compete with the overall ADS speed of the Imperium. And the Imperium still has similar, if not better, bullet velocities on almost every build. Then we get into a fourth and a final, and this is gonna be the build that I'm gonna be running because I think that there's gonna be a lot of value in this, which is the fastest running build. So this one has a 691 muzzle velocity, extremely fast, a 641 uh, ADS speed, which is only a little bit slower than the uh, MCPR and still significantly faster than the Victus, but it also increases my tactical sprint, my sprint, and all of my movement speeds, increases my sprint to fire, tacti my tactical sprint to fire, and my overall ADS movement speeds as well. This is with the LR Retort 19 inch. And this one offers movement bonuses, which allows you to be more of a hit and run sniper. And again, that is something that the MCPR and the Victus can't even do. So not only does the FJX Imperium outdo the MCPR and Victus on the long range builds, but they are completely capable of outrunning the MCPR and the Victus on all of their mobile builds while still maintaining a faster muzzle velocity. And with that being said, the Imperium is is going to probably be your best your best shot at becoming the best possible one shot sniper for yourself in Warzone. I'm going to have all these builds obviously up right here. I'm going to continue to tweak them until I can find a perfect build, in which case we will cover in another video. Again, if you would like to see more of those, feel free to sub to the channel or come by our streams any morning, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time till 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we'll go over the pros and cons of a lot of these options. But I hope you all learned something, and if there's something else you would like to see me co uh, cover or a weapon series that you would like to see me cover, new weapons, new ARs, L SMGs, best builds for things like that, mobility or anything of the such, feel free to leave a comment down below as I would love to go over these and help you all find your best loadout for Warzone 2. With that being said, thank you all so much for checking out the video, leaving the comments, subbing, or anything that you may have done for the video. I appreciate you. And if you've got a friend who's a sniper, feel free to share this video with them as well. Make sure you can make them be the best sniper for your squad possible. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone else, peace.